everyone, welcome to my September plan with me for 2020. For this month's theme, I decided to do a strawberry theme and I've actually been wanting to do this thing for a while now. I think it's really cute and also very simple to do, it doesn't take very long and the doodles aren't very complex either. I thought it was a little bit too simple to just have strawberries so I also added in some blobs in the background um, which I thought added a cute touch. For this month's color palette, I decided to use two shades of pink as well as two shades of green and I think they complement each other very well. Here I'm outlining the strawberries with a Micron fine liner in the size 05 and you'll see me do this quite a bit with my doodles and some of my lettering as well. It just makes everything pop so much more and make it look almost printed. For the blobs, I decided to use more neutral colors, so here I'm coloring it in with a tan color and I'm also using a darker brown later to add in the other outlines of the blobs. I really like how the neutral colors look with the pinks and the pop of cool tones from the green. Looking back, these blobs kind of remind me of potatoes, uh, <laughs> but let's just try to look past that. It still looks cute, right? <laughs> Here I'm outlining my title for this month and it just draws the focal point to the month which is what I'm going for and here you see me write 2020 at the bottom as well but we are not going to outline that because I'm ready to say goodbye to 2020. On the left page of my cover spread, I usually like to do a quote and this one here just says, don't wish for it, work for it. I think it's always a good reminder to work for your goals and not just dream about it because then it'll never come true, right? And with that being said, I am planning on starting a small business on Etsy selling stickers. Everything is still in the process and I am hoping to launch sometime in the fall so I will leave a link down below uh, for the Instagram account so you guys can follow that if you are interested and you can keep up with some of the designs that I will be listing and some of the important dates that are coming up. So if you guys like this theme that I'm doing this month for my bullet journaling, I will be making some stickers that match up with this theme. It will not be made specifically for September, that way it'll be more customizable to whatever you want to use it for. I'm really excited for this and I hope you guys are too, so be sure to follow shop.papersecrets on Instagram. Next, I am moving on to my monthly spread and I am outlining my calendar with another Micron fine liner, this time in a bigger size, 08. I find that I really like how the thicker lines look on this. All of the colors that you will see me use for this setup is from the Crayola Super Tips 100 pack. It is very inexpensive for good quality and you will never run into the problem where you can't find a color. It is also very easy to control for those of you who are just starting with calligraphy. So for this spread, I filled up the background with a bunch of strawberries and blobs and I think it turned out super cute. I am drawing in the seeds of the strawberries with my Jelly Roll 05. And then I'm going in with my 05 Micron Fine Liner and I'm just going to outline all of my strawberries as well as the seeds and this will make the white seeds pop out against the color. I'm also adding in some extra lines onto my leaves to make my strawberry doodles look a little bit more detailed. And of course, I will also be outlining my lettering for the title. you 
you'll notice that I'm not outlining my blobs that way it'll put more focus onto the strawberries and hopefully people won't realize that the blobs look kind of like potatoes for this next page I'm doing a September spending log hopefully this will make me realize how many useless things I buy I will definitely not be needing that many PSLs, especially if I'm getting them decaf. I noticed that having been in quarantine for so long, I've been getting a lot of sleep, so I don't really need any caffeine. And if I have caffeine, I wouldn't be able to fall asleep at night. But again, school is starting soon, and that means I will be needing that extra caffeine. I thought that this page still looked a little bit too empty and so I used a brown to draw a line through September to add a little bit more to the page. This next page will be used for all of my trackers for this month. You will probably see me do this quite a bit but I am always determined to put those white seeds onto this light pink even though you really just can't see it. Uh, but that is also another reason why I like to outline my doodles just to make it pop so that the seeds are actually there And again for these outlines, I'm using the thicker size the micron fine liner in 08 Watching this shot really makes me want to practice my lines because some of those lines are just not it I am alternating with the pink colors for the headings just to add a little bit more dimension onto the page. If my title for the page is a simpler font like the one for my trackers, then you will see me use calligraphy for my other headings or wording on the page. But on the left, if I were to have calligraphy as my title, then for the other headings, I like to use a simpler font. Now I am beginning with all of my weekly spreads. So I've actually never done this setup before, leaving a giant space in the center, but I actually really like how it turned out. I filled up the empty space in the center with a Bible verse from 1 Corinthians 16, 14, and it says, let all that you do be done in love. For this spread, I'm using strawberries as little headers for my dates, which I think turned out super cute. To outline this, I'm using the 05 fine liner. This is a fairly simple spread, so for the lettering, I am trying to use different fonts and colors and little doodles just to add more to the page. I thought the O as a strawberry would be a cute touch, and I really like how it turned out. Next, instead of outlining the entirety of the letters, I'm adding in drop shadows with a black fine liner. I am also adding in drop shadows with a brown marker for the days of the week, and I think it just makes this very simple spread look way more complex than it is. Now I am moving on into the second weekly spread of September. I am bringing back the blobs for the headings of each of the days of the week. Now they not only look like potatoes, but they also look like peanuts. Love that for me. For the dates, instead of using numbers like I usually do, I decided to use only letters this time. And now I'm filling in the background with little tiny strawberries. I think it looks very uh, cute and dainty. And here I'm also adding in drop shadows with the darker pink, and this will just give this entire spread more balance. Although all of these strawberries are the same color, I alternated between the darker and lighter shade of green, which I think also adds a little bit more to the page. Now I'm outlining my strawberries with a thinner fine liner in 03. At 
the bottom of the page, I added in another quote. This one says, trust the timing of your life. I usually determine what color to make something by looking at how much of a color is on the page. So as you can see here, there are very few things on this page that are the dark brown and so for the quote, I used that darker brown. Now I'm moving on to the third weekly spread for this month. You can see here that I got tired of using that white over top of that light pink and I directly just outlined in the seeds and it still looked pretty good. Now I'm alternating between my two shades of brown for the days of the week and again I just like using all of the colors in my palette for each of the spreads to keep it uniform. And the quote that I use for this spread is, what's coming is better than what is gone. What is in the past is already gone and you'll never be able to go back. So let's just focus on all of the potential that the future holds. I like to change up the formatting for my spreads quite a bit. So if one spread has vertical boxes, then the next one will be horizontal. Also, instead of seven boxes for seven days a week, I usually only do six boxes. I find that six boxes is much easier to space evenly, and so for the weekend, sometimes I'll split it in half or just remember that it is for two days. And for this spread, I'm bringing back the blobs. To continue with my strawberry theme, I am adding in these small strawberries beside my quote. And because this strawberry doodle is fairly small, I am not outlining my seeds, but what is great about this darker shade is that the white is able to peek through. And finally, we are on the last spread for this month. Thank you if you've made it this far. I've never actually introduced the black brush pen that I use, and so for these headings, I am using my pencil brush pen. This is my go-to black brush pen. It is so easy to control and I've used up so many of these already. I am also adding in some lines as drop shadows uh, with my tan marker and for some reason this reminds me of a strawberry pastry. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed all of my spreads. Remember to like and subscribe. Also comment down below which one was your favorite spread. Be sure to also check out my Instagram page for paper secrets at shop.papersecrets. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys in my next video.